Hello boys and girls, today we are going to take a second look at the nonfiction text A Day in the Life of a Garbage Collector by Nate LeBoudelier. Now before we start reading, we started it yesterday, I'm going to just quickly go through the book and read the titles of the chapters that we read yesterday. We learned about when do garbage collectors start their days? How important is safety to garbage collectors? What do garbage collectors wear? What do garbage collectors drive? What do garbage collectors do? Who helps garbage collectors? What happens when the truck is full? And how do garbage collectors end their days? One thing that I learned yesterday that I thought was really cool was that garbage, trucker, garbage collectors can drive on both sides of the truck. Not like our cars where we can only stay on the left-hand side of our car. If you're driving, you have to be on the left-hand side. But not in a garbage truck. You can drive on both sides of the truck. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Before we start reading, I want to take a minute and look at our text features chart. Okay, let's take a look at this text features chart. The text features chart is something that we started to list all of the text features that we've seen in nonfiction texts. We have a glossary, keywords, the index, table of contents, captions, diagrams, and that's all that we have so far. Today we're going to take a look at some of these text features that are inside the garbage collector book. We're going to start by taking a look at the table of contents. Remember, the table of contents tells us different parts or chapters of the book and what pages that we can find them on. Yesterday we read all of the red chapters. Today we're going to take a look at all of these black chapters down here. These black chapters are actually all nonfiction text features. The first one is Amazing But True, found on page 20. Then the Equipment Photo Diagram, which is also on page 20. The Glossary is on page 22. Read More, which is on page 23. Internet Sites, which is on page 23. And the Index, which is on page 24. Let's first take a look at the Glossary. Now remember, a glossary lists information. It lists important words that we might find in the book, right? And what they mean. It defines them. It gives a definition of the important words. So there are a few important words in this book that we read about yesterday. The first is landfill. Landfill is an area where garbage is buried. At a landfill, garbage is stacked and covered with dirt. A mechanic, someone who operates or fixes machines. Recycle. To make new items from old items. Cans, plastic, paper, and glass can be recycled. Root. A series of places a collector visits garbage. Time card. A card used to record the time a worker is on the job. Next we're going to take a look at the index. An index lists words just like the glossary does, except it doesn't give definitions of the words. It tells us what pages that we can find certain words on in the book. So if we take a closer look at the index, we can see that we can find bags on page 15, bins on page 10, and boots on page 9. We can also find paperwork on page 4 and page 19. We can learn about safety on page 6 and page 9, and we can learn about trucks on page 4, 10, 13, 15, 16, 19, and 20. We definitely heard the word trucks lots of times while we were reading this book. The next text feature we're going to read about is called Read More and Internet Sites. You might not have seen this yet in a nonfiction text, okay? 
this is pretty cool. This tells us places that we can go to explore to learn more about a topic. So first it gives us read more. It tells us two different books that we can go find. Maybe we could find them at the library or look them up online and we could learn more about garbage trucks. The first one is called Garbage Trucks by Marlene Brill. And the second one is called The Landfill Field Trip by Angela Leeper. After that, we see internet sites. This internet site is called Fact Town and it tells us where to go on the site and what to look up to find out more about garbage trucks. It's kind of like how we go onto Pebble Go to find out more about different topics too. Okay, so I'm going to add these read more and internet sites to our nonfiction text feature list so that way we don't forget about it. So on our nonfiction text feature list, I added our new text feature that we just read about. It says books or internet for learning more. The last nonfiction text feature that we are going to read about today, there's two more actually, is the first is Amazing But True. Amazing But True gives us some new facts about garbage men and about the garbage truck. This one says garbage trucks can be painted any color. Some companies have rainbow colored trucks. The most popular color for garbage trucks is white. Hmm, I never knew that. And then we have a diagram. Remember how we drew our own diagram of the Velociraptor? Well, today we don't have to draw a diagram of the garbage truck because they gave us a diagram. And on this diagram, there's a bunch of labels that tell us about the different parts of the diagram of the picture. Here we have a shovel. Here we have a lift that lifts the garbage can up and down. And this label says garbage can and it's pointing to the garbage can. Here we have the recycling bin and gloves that he's wearing to keep him safe, a hard hat that he also wears to keep him safe, and last we have a safety vest. It says garbage collectors must wear brightly colored safety vests in the truck yard and on the route. People can easily see these bright vests. Okay, what you're going to do today is you're going to take a good look at this diagram and I want you to think about what you learn from this diagram because diagrams help us um, learn a little bit more about what it is we're reading about. This diagram teaches us a little bit more about the garbage truck and a little bit about what the garbage man is wearing. So I want you to think about what you learn from this diagram and I want you to write about it and tell us what you learn from this equipment photo diagram. At the end of the movie, there'll be a nice picture of the diagram to help you. You can pause it and watch it from there.